Welcome to the New Moon Meditation for November the 4th at 4.14 p.m. This is November 4th, 2021, and 4.14 p.m. is the time that this will occur in the central time zone. If you're in a different time zone, you'll want to account for that. Um, we are here at Unity Village and making this recording for you today. <sighs> Glad to see you. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the next couple of weeks in the astrological weather. Um, not going to lie, this is going to be a little bit tense and difficult of a time period. What we have happening is at the time of the new moon on the 4th is um, that, of course, the new moon is when um, the sun and the moon are together in the sky. And where they are going to meet in the sky is in, in the sign of Scorpio. And directly opposite of that, in the sign of Taurus, is our friend Uranus hanging out, um, changing everything. And when these come into alignment, um, we can expect, you know, some changes, some shifts, more changes and shifts, like there haven't already been um, enough. <laughs> and uh, so that's, and that's kind of starting a, or setting up a process as these three planetary bodies are in alignment. We can look just a little bit over to the, in, in smaller degrees of Scorpio, where we have Mars, who will, on the day of the new moon, be at, I think, three degrees. Um, and Mars is moving into position, and by November 10th, we are going to have some serious, tense astrological weather. We have Saturn over there in Aquarius, and Saturn is going to be in a square or tense relationship with um, Mars, with Mercury, with Uranus. And so this is going to be a lot of our, so Mercury is our communication style, Mars is our anger and frustration and, you know, wanting to get things, let's move, let's move, let's move, let's do it. Saturn is structure and trying to, you know, keep things the, the way they've always been. And Uranus is kind of over there, like, you know, the young revolutionary, <clears throat> pardon me, with, you know, let's, let's just, let's just knock it all down. Um, so there's, there's a lot of things that, there's a lot of moving pieces that can be difficult for the, for the, for the short term period, I'm not going to lie to you. So we're going to do this meditation to give you something to hopefully come back to maybe throughout this next time period. Play it repeatedly if you like. And, um, you know, so when things are tense, when, when we're not breathing, when we're, you know, stressed and frustrated and uh, what do I do, what do I do, you know, having a, having a center to come back to because we're just, we're gonna, just going to try and get through all of this next couple weeks just it, metaphorically in one piece. Uh, that, you know, I fully expect everybody will still literally be in one piece, but you know, we just, we just want to come through this as, with as much calmness as we can. And it's just, it's for a couple of weeks and by the next um, video that we're talking about, things will be a little different. They won't necessarily be all better, but yeah. <laughs> So, so let's also remind them that this is Martin Downman. Oh yeah, and, and I'm Sunny Downman. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. <sighs> yeah, my Mars is just going to town, I guess. So, but, let's go. Let's go. So, on that note, 
Should we start meditating? <laughs> we sure can. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Yes. All right, so I would invite you to notice your breath. Whenever things are chaotic around me or chaotic within me, I can always come back to this moment of my breath and feeling my breath filling my chest and that moment of release as I breathe out. Let's do that again. Nice deep breath in, filling the belly and release. lovely and as we sit here we can feel the the weight of gravity on our bodies we can feel how we are being held gently to the ground and the, all the places where our body touches the earth or touches our support structures the places where we sit the places where we stand and we can feel that interaction between this physical body and what is around us. It's always a good calming moment to stop and feel your feet on the floor. And just notice your feet. And just notice how the floor is holding you and supporting you. And let's let's visualize those roots, let's visualize roots coming out of your feet and digging down through the floor, through maybe you're on a second story, through whatever is below you into and digging into the earth. Those roots seeking moisture, seeking stability, seeking nutrients, seeking in this case the energy of the earth. We are, we are literally grounding ourselves here. And so as you, as you build out your root system, those roots are, going, are encountering that energy. And so we would invite that energy to join with us in this, in this dance, in this moment, in this awareness. We encounter that energy with our root systems. We bring that energy up into our root systems. We draw upon it, like as if we were sucking a soda up a straw into our mouths. We just pull that energy up and feel it rising through our roots into our feet and into our legs. And now that we have that energy in our legs, we invite it to rise a little farther up until we meet the base of the spine. And this is the site of the first chakra, the root chakra. This is the chakra that is the that embodies the energy of, I have a right to be here. I have a right to have my needs met. It is okay for me to ask for what I need. This energy is the energy of the planet Mars, the one that says, I need this, let's do this, let's go, let's go. And so we breathe into that energy and we honor ourselves and we recognize and remember where we are maybe not asking for what we need. And, and we, when, we, when we are in that situation, we remember to call upon the energy of Mars. And so let's allow that energy to rise up a little bit farther until we get about to our belly button. This is the site of the second chakra, the sacral chakra. It is the energy of Venus. It is creativity and generativity and the, the energy of bringing, of bringing something from a thought into manifestation. And so it is about, it's, it's about manifesting. It's about bringing things in to the physical realm. (sighs) 
and then we allow that energy to rise a little farther just to the just to the cave of our rib cage that curve that arch that the rib cage makes in the front of our bodies and just nestled in that curve we find the the uh, solar plexus chakra this is the energy of the sun this is the energy of of our inner knowing. This is where we go to consult that so-called gut feeling that we that we get of you know checking in when we check in with ourselves. How do we how do I feel about this? How do I feel about this in my gut? We're going to that solar plexus chakra. And this 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 is, like I said, the energy of the sun, of our of our inner wisdom and our inner light. And then rising a little farther, we come to the level of the heart. This is the energy of the moon. The heart is our metaphorical center of emotion, and moon is the energy of emotion in our astrological life. And so this is where we feel and express love and care for ourselves and we emanate that out to other people. And then rising a little bit farther, bringing that energy up like a soda in a straw, we, we encounter the, the throat chakra at the level of our throat. And this is about speaking our truth. This is the energy of Mercury, which is our communication. Um, so it's not just speaking the truth, but it's also hearing the truth and discerning the truth. But saying what we need to say, hopefully in a kind and compassionate way, um, by drawing in on the energy of the heart, we use, we use both chakras together to say what we need to say without harshness. And then rising a little bit farther to the level of the third eye chakra, which is just between the two eyes. It's actually in the center of the skull. It's, it's some people uh, describe it as the pituitary gland. And this is the energy of Saturn. This is the energy of discernment, of deciding, of, of sorting and sifting and weighing and understanding the situation that is around us. Um, it is about seeing the truth. This is the, the third eye that we use. And then lastly we rise, we, ra we raise that energy just a little bit farther to the crown chakra and this is the energy of Jupiter. This is, the crown chakra is the energy with which we inter interact with the divine outer we connect to the, the universe, to God, to however you envision that connection to be for you. That goes out through the crown chakra. And as we feel the energy of Mother Earth rising up through our roots and bathing each and every one of those chakras, aligning and grounding ourselves, our physical body, our emotions, balancing the whole system, we allow that energy to rise up and pop out through the tips of our, through the tip of our crown chakra, through the top of our head, and feel that energy going out and seeking itself, seeking more energy from the universe, allowing can allow that to rain down around us in a circular or toric field and it comes out of our the tops of our heads and comes around and goes down back to earth again and so it's a little like being in a battery that we are we are part of the circuit and flow of energy and this is just a beautiful exercise to remind us of of this process that is going on all of the time below awareness but it's a beautiful thing to come back to center and remember 
that this is who we are. This is how we, how we exist on this planet as a part of that energetic field. We are not just here to drive cars and write checks and, you know, clock in at our job. We are here to be a part of the energy flow. And so we take a moment to open our awareness to our angelic and otherworldly beings that hover around us at all times. The guardian angels, our guides, our ascended masters. And, and we include in this our native forefathers, those who, whose land we are on at this moment. And we honor them and we thank them for their life. And we take this moment to remember that we are, we are wanting to align with all of these energies. And so we have our guardians. If we know them by name, we invite them in by name. If we don't know them, we just simply invite our guardians to come and sit with us as we meditate our guardian angels, our ancestors. And so as we continue in this process, we allow ourselves to sink to another level of depth of connection seeing a process, finding that energy, that light within. And at this moment, we, we might feel that there is this purple light that is bathing us, that is surrounding us. It holds such peace. It holds wonderful energies around us. And we connect in deeply with that process. We notice that we are just supported by the space that we are in. And we feel the gratitude of being in this time, in this space. And as we notice in this experience things that are not moving in ways that we may enjoy, I invite the process of breathing deeply into the belly and then releasing this process of just breathing and the awareness that we have that it is a continuous flow it moves in and out in this process bathing us in the air, in the breath. We receive all that we need in that process. And we are aware of the love that we have reaching out around us. Even when it seems difficult, we can open our hearts to this glow. And now I invite you to go another level deeper. Remind your 
body, the physical body, to just relax to another level. Allow yourself to just be. Allow yourself to hold a sacred space for yourself. Surrounded in a golden light. This is you holding that sacred light, that sacred space for yourself, releasing all else that is going on. Allow yourself to just hold in stasis this position for a few moments. As we feel the energy of the earth vibrating at a very low frequency that allows us to become peaceful allows us to join in that calm connection with the earth. When experiences happen that have us trying to tighten up, just remind yourself of that slow vibration that we are allowed to be engaged with at all times. As we are on earth, the earth holds us, supports us. We are able to connect with the energies of the dance that we play in this world, in the experience that we get to hold for others, and to even remind ourselves that those others may be someone that's very different than you in your experience, and yet will hold love and light in their humanness, in their divine, in their experience, and honor them just as we would want to be honored ourselves. We feel the love coming in from outside of us and bathing us in this awareness that we are whole, that we can reach into this same experience anytime we want. We feel the spirit moving through us reminding us that we are divine, that we are here for our beautiful purpose, that we each have our own unique way of experiencing. And in that process, we are aware of peace that we can step into at any time.
And now, in this moment, I would like to invite you to connect with the vibration of the earth and find that vibration being harmonious with the vibration of you. And now we'll move into a moment of toning. And so we will begin with the toning where we will vibrate that throat chakra and allow the heart to open and the solar plexus to get excited and the sacral to imagine and the root chakra to be aware of the energy and connection of motion of being here And then we move to the third eye with that vibration and then it will blast right out through the crown chakra. But with this tone, just allow them all to begin vibrating. So I'll begin with a tone and you can use your own tone in whatever way you would like. So we take a breath in. Feel the vibration in your body and the connection with all around you. The toric field that is around us is vibrating and connecting with everything around. We are one. We are here now. Now I invite you to very slowly bring yourself gently back to this space by maybe moving your fingers or your toes, taking a deep breath in and releasing. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. It is with deep gratitude that we get to do these. We appreciate you joining us and we will see you again. Yes, so mm -hmm. the next lunation is going to be a full moon. It is also going to be an eclipse. So yeah. that's a whole other ball of wax. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, that will be on November 19th. And so we'll be posting uh, another meditation by then. I just want to remind and exhort everybody this next few weeks, two, three, maybe a little longer, is not going to be easy or super light. 
Um, so come back, do this meditation again, breathe with us, remind yourself this, uh, all things, all things must pass. This is not a great time to start anything new. This is a good time to consolidate and just hunker down, you know, mm-hmm. spend some time with those that you love. Um, and if you have questions about, because a lot of the, and like a lot of the events, how it interplays with our own natal chart is very important. And so if you don't really know what is happening in the skies outside and how that affects you directly, and if you want to know, um, I would love to explore that with you. And so give me a a ring, so to speak. Um, Contact me through my website, sunnysastrology.com, and we can set up a time where we can talk about you, your natal chart, and how these large outer, if you know, pl- these planets that are moving around and doing you know, Uranus, doing all this crazy stuff, what's, you know, what, what does this mean for me? We can talk about that. <sighs> so, until November 19th, stay well, be chill, we love you. And we say, <laughs> Namaste. Namaste.